Good afternoon. I think it's the moment that we should start. What do you think, Mike? Yes, I think everyone is eagerly awaiting us and it's a great time to start. Yeah, it's a hot weather here in Holland. We are here close to the, <coughs> the center of the hotspot, flower hotspot of the world in uh, Alsmeer. And uh, yeah, we had uh, um, the last days, we did a, a course, a, a summer class, which was really something summerly, like uh, I haven't experienced that many times. And we want to, um, today, want to work. I have uh, the most beautiful flowers uh, prepared. And um, we um, um, want to talk a little about flower design, about uh, some uh, um, innovative aspects and uh, also scratch a little at the surface what could be next. And uh, or the uh, major question uh, actually at this place, because of this is a school, the Burma Institute is a school for many, many years. How many years, M Mike? Uh, the school was started in 1980. So this is now, uh, yeah, 43 years. 43 years, yeah. Okay, now um, we want to speak a little also about the uh, uh, upcoming next uh, um, school for masters. I, I always have it a bit difficult to say master course. You know, a master course is a course with a master, master lady, master man, whoever. And uh, but this is the course where you study to be a master, and this is an intense uh, thing. I believe uh, we should uh, have this definition very clear, so that uh, this is not just okay. Sometimes you hear. Uh, on a fair, there is a master course of two hours with mm, 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 somebody, and then you think, oh, a master course in two hours, so I cannot be a master in two hours. But this has also a little to do with the language, you know, like uh, uh, some other words when you go between, for example, French and English, then it becomes a totally different meaning. So I am with um, Mike Boma. He is. Uh, the, my good co-teacher often here in our classes and uh, he is always very polite and uh, doesn't uh, go in between everything but he is a very competent master himself and, uh, and it is good to have a junior partner in uh, your um, works and um, so we want to start um, <clears throat> with uh, an arrangement which I created partways at home uh, in my hometown and then we brought it over here and it's kind of a table decoration, sideboard decoration <coughs> and um, it's uh, constructed on uh, a wooden, uh, super light wooden uh, tray and uh, this is all handmade, you know, so the that is often what people expect, uh, handmade, handmade. Gregor, he does everything, hand no, uh, I don't do everything hand handmade. I also try to buy some uh, parts of designs as a half basket or a half stand, which I uh, pull apart and uh, build a new work. And this one here is actually um, the bamboo. Uh, these are bamboo leaves bamboo is a grass and so these are actually bamboo grass leaves from the uh, of the philo um, um no um uh, no not philo bambus moriele uh passes i forgot now the 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 given name uh and uh philostachis moriele yes that is the <clears throat> the very light bamboo which is also growing in our climate and um, <clears throat> I want to do this a little more summerly. And uh, I uh, have some uh, wonderful crown jewels. Uh, forgive me when I do not know always the breeder or um, how the, they say in Holland, the veredeler uh, and the, the people who do this. The most of I know, and I'm always happily and grateful, happy and grateful for what, what I get here uh, because of these are absolutely jewels. 
And um, nah, I thought, uh, let's do something out of nothing, because of that is when you cut a bamboo post, what the first goes down to the ground and uh, goes to the bin. These are these leaves and they are all wrapped. So I have to say, uh, when it comes to making uh, forms, I'm also a big wrapper. Not the, not the way you think, but uh, I like to wrap uh, all kinds of uh, forms like the, the birch, little birch twigs, pine needles in this more in the winter. And <clears throat> this here can be and also <clears throat> the most of the seasons. I um, have a candle here on this side. So wherever you want it, the candle can be um, in the back so that the, it shines through the flowers. And then uh, you can also have it up front, but I think later on I will have a bit of green or some vines going down. I'm a vine person, not a wine person. That is absolutely not the case. Even if I was born in a, a grapevine valley, but uh, I like the vines. And this is the um, most beautiful summerly vine, the Lonitzera, the golden Lonitzera, Lonitzera reticulata aurea. So I don't want to stress you too much with the botanical names. We know that from the School for Masters that we tease the people. No, we are not teasing them. We try to prepare them that they know the botany for their exam and everything. And uh, <coughs> so I would say that is a very important issue that we uh, are florists and we know what we like and we know how to name it. Imagine you love somebody very much and you say, hey, you, could you stand up and let's have a breakfast? No, I would say you should really name what you like, you know. So uh, botanical names. Mike, what would you say about um, the chance to study the master in Alzmeer? Can you have a word about that? For sure. Yes, so um, this is a 20-day lesson program uh, designed to really bring everyone up to a higher level. It feels longer. Yes, it feels longer, right? It feels because it's very intensive. So yeah. um, normally when we do, say, like a two-day thing, we call it a master class. So then we really define that this is just a short period. But when the, we talk about courses, like the International Master Florist Education, the pro that's a real big program and it's all about going deeper into the material so with our professional course it's really only the fundamentals with the advanced course we start to introduce the techniques but with the master we really go deep into the, um, the education and ensure that everyone gets enough attention all the attention that they need uh, to grow as a, as a designer with so many interesting subjects right Gregor like uh, the displacement, we go deep into the uh, relationship of contrast. The um, standing, freestanding works. The freestanding works. So organic work. Organic, yes, 100% organic. The funeral work. Yeah. Bridal bouquets. So all the essentials, but then elevate it to a higher level so that you can hand -tied, really express yourself. Hand-tied bouquets. Yeah. So we go into the, the forms of our professional work. But what I want to say, there should be a big layer Mm. of um, the design studies yes. about the principles and elements yep. and uh, then going into the different studies, studies of uh, paces and rhythms, the design scheme and uh, all this. And, and uh, I think you can maybe not imagine that we, um, for these 20 days that we have day by day, Mm -hmm. An absolutely different subject. Mm -hmm. yes. So um, I have to come uh, from my place at home uh, with a full car, a big full car of uh, pre-made um, um, bases and uh, 
um, structures and uh, also helps to present uh, works interesting because of, I think, at the end of the education pr process, uh, like uh, um, apprenticeship and becoming a florist, how important is it when you um, have uh, a shop, a business, a workroom um, and uh, a studio that you really uh, know to present and all of this is part of uh, the school here in Alsmeer. And what the wonderful thing is, uh, there are not too many people. Mm -hmm. So that is really that th you get enough attention. So that is what I really think uh, when the people do hands-on. And doing hands-on, if you ask me, what do you think, what is different in the place where you are teaching, mm, what is different to uh, many other things which are happening in the profession. Mm -hmm. I think this is a dangerous question, you know. Then you say, oh, we do this better than yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. But I would say hands-on is very important that yep. the teacher shows, oh, there's a nice picture, actually. I'm framed very nicely. Yeah, but uh, we should better talk about uh, yeah. what is different. But it is, uh, they are long days. So we really start at, uh, at 9, maybe, yeah, about 9. And then we go up until... Officially, it says, I think, five, but sometimes we are longer there uh, to be able to yeah, uh, explain and to really talk about the works afterwards. Of course, the works are always discussed during, but there is so much time to discuss and to give feedback and to check uh, every individual student's work. And to the growth that you can see during this course is really unbelievable. I think you, all you, the individual you students... Just, you, yeah. just, you just said check. You know, yeah. we had not only Czech people, but no, no, you no. know, last time in that course there were 12 or 13 nations, yep. people from the whole world. And then uh, if I would say this to my mother mm -hmm. a long time ago, she would say, oh, no, it's not possible. When so many people come together, you don't talk to each other. She reminds me of the Tower of Babylon, the tower uh, construction oh, yeah. of Babylon so and, uh, and the walls of Jericho. Or what. No, no, no. I think that is wonderful when you have such a um, concentrated competence here mm -hmm. and for the classes for the first one, and which was still in the middle of COVID, the first yeah. one or the, the, the more handleable phase of COVID. But the last one, there were people from so many also competent places, also people who had a teaching experience in that. So it is so interesting yeah. when these people come together and then I can imagine that the one or the other says, oh, no, uh, I, I am not uh, far enough for that. I'm not good enough for that because of I'm just doing this for two or three years. And mm -hmm. I can tell you, yeah. there were people I met here years ago, few years ago, be shortly before COVID here. Mm -hmm. And they were as existing uh, very nicely to, uh, to me and also to other teachers. And now you had them in the master course and they did a great yeah. exam. So it is not like this is a club, you know, a club who comes together and then uh, it is all about them. Mm -hmm. No, it is really about the values in the profession. Yep. And uh, do you have that book here, that, uh, that book, uh, what you, uh, what the, uh, the ah, students... The booklet. I, I don't have it at, in, in my uh, here, but I'll, maybe I'll f maybe figure in it a, out later. Maybe a little later uh, we can later, yeah. have a look for that. So yeah. because of uh, what I think also some other... Uh, master places what they have is uh, their written um, uh, knowledge yeah it's very important. something on paper and i think uh, it is not about showing pictures that you have slides in your lessons maybe you start with to explain uh, it could be like this or this but i think uh, it is very important that um, people have an orientation mm -hmm. what comes day by day yeah. And they also uh, should have such uh, information material. And then we have a book about, what is it? What comes together more and more and more. So every year we have more substance in it. Yeah. And we also shift things out we when, we th yeah. when we think it is not so much up to date anymore, then we change also a subject. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, let me also now 
that it doesn't sound too much that we want to talk about our master um, uh, education. I want to just uh, turn this a little around that uh, you see what is coming here. I have most beautiful from Mrs. Borma's uh, personal garden, leaves of Eucora. And uh, so you see that uh, um, it is uh, not only the important great flowers like this wonderful rose um, from uh, Deco Fresh. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the gentleman who uh, always comes by and uh, is very interested what kind of uh, roses we like. And here this is the symbol. Symbol is a rose in between the warm sand colors and goes to uh, mustard and then outside it goes to magenta and red. It is an unbelievable ro rose. You have the feeling you can combine it, com combine it with everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And so uh, and that's, that's what I really think um, when we have a work like this, it should be it should start from the scratch, mm -hmm. that you know you make something even out of nothing, that you have a post, what we had uh, earlier this week, a garden style work, uh, a post of birch, the sticks of birch or willow, and then woven wild grass, and then working with the summerly flowers. So it was 100% organic. Yeah. So I think that is actually uh, what is coming more and more that, uh, and I hopefully see the youth very much involved in, uh, in this, that they demand from the future of our uh, profession, that the supply is becoming more and more uh, sustainable. Yeah. Should be careful with that word organic, that, uh, but it should be sustainable. And so what we also did this week, we had uh, we were had the first foams of 90% um, biorecreatable. 90% mm -hmm. is high, mm -hmm. so it would be better 100%. But as I said, since two three years, I said wait, these um, firms like Oasis, they will come up with something which is in a few years 100%. Yeah, but we should come back to that master thing because of uh, Mike. It is uh, your home. Uh, mm -hmm. I already met your grandfather many years ago when mm -hmm. I came first to Belgium mm -hmm. and then I met him first once. Nice. And uh, yeah, and school is actually in this house, is here everything. And this um, makes it perfect for us because of everywhere you go here, that is a very professional area. And the flower plays the number one mm -hmm. and not the supply. I think that makes it for me sympathetic. I could never work in a place which would be different mm, uh, without this dominance of flowers. Okay, much. now I think I am kind of, yeah, these colors are not bad, but that is not actually my achievement because of I didn't have such gorgeous uh, roses which are bridging colors very well to go from the warmer colors, from the warmer colors to the cooler colors and the other way around. And then the in-between tones, you know, here is the uh, Antriscus or the uh, Ami, Ami Visnaga and the, a little of these burgundy tones. And it is really obvious that uh, bridging forms in floristry, bridging from form to form and bridging color to color, that this is uh, one of the big trend figures of the coming time. So I should be very careful to open my mouth too much, but I'm now a little older and I can risk, uh, after all these years in the profession, to say, careful Gregor, beep, 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 trap, uh, to say, uh, I see this is coming. Mm -hmm. The bridging, you know, I. Uh, had lots of fun in the last years to speak about the displacement, to train people for more asymmetry, and then to train people for open outline, you know, that uh, people would not work too compact. So the open outline, the trend actually started very much, I would say, in Asia. The Koreans uh, and the 
uh, Japanese people, they were very competent in there. But you know what is the wonderful thing? Hmm. In the last class, we had people from Asia, yep. from many countries in Asia, not many people, but one or two from each country. And uh, that was very good to see that our mixture yes. of floral craftsmanship and the, um, pr the principles and elements that this is really well appreciated. So, okay. I think I should not make something hanging down. And uh, so I made it symmetrical. So maybe you are uh, surprised that I work symmetrical. I'm not very much Mr. Symmetrical normally, but uh, um, because of my training when I was young and stupid in my profession. So we had a teacher who was great with the form linear. And what did we have also this week? People are hungry for uh, vegetative. We had tons of flowers here. We mm -hmm. had wonderful amount of chrysanthemums then here from Decker and then from Magenpa here, the wonderful Vienna and uh, um, Clematis and then uh, 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 more. We had this yeah, yeah. crown jewels and the roses and I, I, but the people also were hungry to work with the wilderness around here, For around sure. the, the, from the store roadside. I said, what are you doing on the roadside? <laughs> yeah, we are looking for something which has the kick for a vegetative look. And then really people with a lot of quality, they said, yeah, I want to really have a good training. Can you tell us what vegetative is? And that is what we had in our last class. Yep. I was surprised the first master school and then the second school of masters. And then um, you mm -hmm. and your mother, you came up with, yeah, we need vegetative. Yeah, we need to have the focus more on that because it's the building block of natural forestry. Yeah, yeah. and uh, vegetative is kind of a teacher for us. Mm -hmm. The same as form linear. You can say form linear can be more commercial, but the, the vegetative never was very commercial. But if you see how large is the community of people who lives in the big cities and uh, how little uh, is the interest of people in, uh, in working uh, very, very countryish in the countryside. So I come from the countryside, so I'm from a village with 10,000 people. And when I would use something for, an, uh, for a nice uh, suitable surrounding, and make a decoration with meadow flowers. So my wife and me, we were, for our wedding, it was always meadow flowers, you know. Oh, my mother, oh, and I think we are five generations in horticulture and floristry, and my son has a wedding in meadow flowers. So I think we were a little ahead of that, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, you had always people who were fascinated by the wildflowers. And so that is also an issue. So I think, um, the themes we are doing from year to year, they are adapted, no, they are connected to mm -hmm. what's happening mm -hmm. in not only the cold work word market, what is happening in the profession and in hopefully we don't miss the boat to, to, to reach that what the society wants. For sure. Okay, now here in this work, the bridges from warm colors to cool colors and uh, I cannot... Um, express my happiness more about the self-made forms to work in but there are also first signs from the profession people who say oh not too much structure can you do also something without any structure and can you work poor mm -hmm. pure and that is the thing with form linear to study with the forms and lines yep. to study the in the vegetative the how the flowers grow in the nature, and also the colors, the colors, the colors. We have some great color teachers in the world, and color was ne never my number one focus for a, for a period. But I think when we see what the growers now, what they bring in uh, the bridging colors, colors who are not decisively warm or cold or red or blue, they are kind of mixed. 
And this is for us an opportunity to create a floristry with all this knowledge together. A floristry which is 2023-24. Mike, can you talk a little about the master school yes, and uh, uh, for the sure. school of masters? For and sure. I do the next design. For sure. Yeah. So uh, what I want to touch upon a little bit about what you were mentioning earlier, uh, what I really liked was this mixture of cultures that we have in the classroom. So like you said, yes, there are people from Asia. There are people Not from longer. the U.S. There's people from... Um, Canada, there were people from Australia, from South everywhere, Africa. South Africa, and different levels as well. So some people Gosh, were already nasty. teachers, but there were also people, like you said, who only started three years ago. And what I think is the amazing success story is that this person only started three years ago, but she had the highest grades at the end of the course. So the amount of growth that is possible yeah. is really amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Amazing. So uh, I, <coughs> I really believe that uh, um, the, um, it has a lot to do with craftsmanship, mm -hmm. what we are doing. But uh, the people, they want to know why is what. And therefore, the, um, also the theory in design yep. is very important, very important, you know. And I believe Angelica would like to say something about the people in the chat. Well, um, we were talking about that we had a lot of people in class from all over the world. Well, I have a lot of people from all over the world in the chat. Oh. And they're all saying hi. We have Taiwan. Mm -hmm. When you and Taiwan. Yes. Um, th that is first giving thumbs up and mm -hmm. also says thank you so much, Gregor, for your big effort to the IMF course. We have uh, Harinashki Mistry saying good evening from Mumbai. Oh, hello. We have Mark Pempling saying good evening from Australia. Oh, hi, Mark is in the chat, Gregor. Hi, Mark. I spoke about you today. It was not too bad. <laughs> and we have Majesty in the chat saying hi. And Amanda Amanda sends rainbow hearts a lot. Oh, that's very lovely. Yes, welcome everyone. Really good to have you in the chat. We're really happy that you are joining us to see this. And uh, coincidentally, Mark Pempling is coming all over in September. So we are very much looking forward to that masterclass uh, as well. So talking about classes versus courses. Classes are the shorter programs, like two days, and uh, courses are really the vocational training programs. But how much did we miss each other over the pandemia? Yes. And that we could, uh, the Australians, they were never to see here again, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, that was so bad. And now it is good when we see our friends also like Bart and uh, many others from Australia. We Yesterday mm -hmm. we mentioned a few yes. we met here in the years before. Yes. And uh, just briefly uh, coming back to my design, mm. which is also done with the wood. I found around the house here and uh, it is on a, a, um, a self-constructed cup um, <clears throat> and it has uh, some uh, the 90% biogreedable foam mm -hmm. in it and then uh, there is that steeper grass. I think it is a steeper and uh, the good thing is um, <clears throat> that uh, it uh, is a combination of a very decorative work but it has also some strong lines the diagonal line order in here and so that actually arrangement out of the out of flowers is uh, a very compact one so that is what i don't do too often and uh, but I thought today, the day after the class yesterday, oh, Mike, always very generous in this, he said, come on, let's go to the auction and let's uh, buy some new flowers for the live stream. I said, come on, here is always so much. Uh, we have our knowledge and let's uh, really speak about that, what we are combining here when we are coming from a very linear work and then going in a very compact point spot here. 
So what am I using? I should say a Margin Parb New Beauty mm. that is a, a Clematis Diversifolius. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could see earlier this week, it's five minutes away from here, we could see how uh, these uh, gardeners and uh, distributors, how they are testing uh, their flowers and what is all coming new. And this is wonderful. So we should, but we should not be too one-sided. Then we saw another uh, breeder mm -hmm. and we said about not only little flowers, let's also have big flowers like that we encourage the uh, chrysanthemum growers like Decker and uh, also the gentleman who comes from DecoFresh and shows us this beautiful new decorative crescent chrysanthemums. I said, we need the diversity. And that is also the same for the education, that we do not only show, uh, speak about form linear and vegetative and give people something what they don't need daily too often, mm -hmm. but they can change what they do commercially even by the influence of the different um, styles and concepts. And so that uh, is a big part of it. So I think our theoretical work in the class is very uh, important and very dominant. But some, one thing I always don't like when I do the School of Masters, that the clock is too quick. Even though the days are long, there is never enough time. There's there, never yeah? enough time, yes. yes and uh, nice. so, uh, but there is a weekend. So the, the people, when they leave the, the, the house here on the Friday evenings, mostly a little later, then, uh, but you see them, they, they don't forget of the flowers during the weekend because of here is also so much to discover in Holland. Uh, so the surrounding for such a project like becoming uh, a florist master, you are in the right place. Mm. I think this Holland around the here, area. but I'm a friend of Holland, I have to say. <laughs> what is that rose? Barista. That is my new favorite. Mm. Uh, fa barista is a bit brownish pink, uh, brownish pink, peach, uh, apricot. Uh, everything in there. You have, you don't know which master of colors did combine them. Uh, I think it, it was a grower, but uh, it is unbelievable. The barista is a great rose. And uh, you would never um, bring me so far to praise a lot of supply things, but I could really praise from time to time very much the botanical beauty. Uh, so here, yeah, what? Ah, yeah. I need to use the Amivisnaga and the uh, wonderful green. We also brought a bit from home, which is a leaf which is not very well uh, distributed in the world. You have to maybe grow it still yourself till it becomes commercial. We should speak to one of these uh, green producers and the perennial gardeners. I'm very much. Uh, with the perennial gardeners at the moment and I really want more perennials in our garden in Bad Neuenahr. And this is the Epi uh, Medium. Epi Medium is a wonderful leaf with a super thin stem. I know what you think. Lurch, don't talk too much. Show me the arrangement. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing. I'm coming. So you were saying this rose is your uh, favorite? Barist at yeah. the moment, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This week, who, kno who knows? Next week, huh? Yeah, yeah. But coincidentally, so. this Clematis is my favorite Clematis. Uh, it's yeah. the Clematis Sevilla. Sevilla. Yeah, I couldn't Sevilla. say that. Yeah. You know it. Just because it's my favorite. It's such a special one. Huh? Yeah, Sevilla. So than the rest. Savia or Sevilla? Uh, Sevilla, yeah. S-E-V-I-L-L-A, yeah. And it was for us wonderful to see uh, how we could awake uh, in these two classes we did till now mm. with me. I don't know how many you have done before, but how uh, people are first afraid of botany, mm. but then how much they appreciate when the botany is there 
and they can really mesmerize their work with wonderful, innovative things, really innovative things. You should never do risky stuff mm -hmm. in a demonstration. It is not a demonstration, it's a little live stream, but at the end of the day it is a demonstration, so it did work, it worked. You know what this is? Allium sativum ophios corrodon. Mamma mia, what a name, eh? Mm -hmm. Pigtail. Really like a pigtail. It's an expensive flower, but sometimes you have two in an arrangement and it mesmerizes and changes the whole scene. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, one of the big uh, trendy flowers at the moment, these are the alliums. Uh, I think this is really something. The Allium sativum ophios corodon. And uh, talking about how there's never enough time in, uh, in a day, um, the course, it is 20 lesson days long. So those are, those are long days. Um, but uh, the good thing is that um, it's a block of two times 10. So it's not 20 days in one row because otherwise, you know, it's such an intensive course. You're long days, it's very, you learn so many things. So your head is quite full after the first two weeks. So then we have a break. So it uh, starts November 13th. Then we have a, a little break. Then we do some homework assignments. So we don't stop the learning. Break. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of a break, but also we keep working. Then we have a couple of uh, Zoom meetings in which we discuss the, yeah, the that homework. That is what's so important, what yep. you say. When we so. get together in, uh, what was it, January and February? Yes, the second time, yeah. In, yeah. Uh, in, in March or February. Uh, sorry, yes, the, the, the Zoom meetings, yeah. They yeah. are in, in January, February, sometimes in December, but usually that's too busy for the people. So then we do January and February, and then we come back together in March, fully refreshed, and then two weeks of... Uh, Vital learning. You think they are not refreshed anymore afterwards, huh? Yeah, after <laughs> that, uh, they need another break because yeah. uh, the exam, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty intense. But I think it's a great life experience that you will never forget. And you learn so much by doing something like an exam. It's really a crown on the end of the course. Yeah, I and think. I should say when I uh, was at the uh, School of Masters, my parents, when I was very young after my gardener's uh, apprenticeship, they wanted me to go to the Freestoff Master School in Bonn. And it was a lifetime experience, yeah. And some of them, we still, they are still around. Mm. They were all older than me because of I was just a, a kind of a guest student. Yeah. I made my exam five years later. And we are still connected. Oh, that's so nice. these are friends for a lifetime. Mm. So... Uh, yeah, and then people think about cats and dogs and husbands at home, or wives and children. Yeah, last children, that's a typical man thing. No, no, I should say uh, that is a, an important phase in your professional life. And uh, yeah, exactly. Because you do bring those connections for you with, with you for a lifetime. So the people that have studied in the part one uh, and the part two now, uh, during the summer school that we've had the last couple of days, they have, all, they have met each other and they've uh, connected with each other. So you will make these very interesting connections all across the world. And I believe that uh, in November or October, uh, a lot of the IMF people, they will meet each other in Taiwan because of the Taiwanese uh, IMF uh, alumna have invited them. So that's really nice. Yes, and so what we uh, really had a good time with was the displacements. Yeah. So now that's I see right. some other teachers and masters. Uh, we do, did this the first time together in uh, Las Vegas for the AIFD. Yes, for a big No, it sounds Las Vegas. You maybe think we had a... A fancy casino week or what? No, no, no. We didn't even see a casino. We weren't there to gamble. No, we were just working and we worked on the displacements. The position of work is here and the focal mo uh, the motive and the focal area is here. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is for some people a very intense training for um, 
intense training for asymmetry. asymmetry. Yeah. yeah, I want you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, so uh, here I think that is so crazy that here is the standing, here is a little help foot, here is a little help foot, and, uh, but there is the the place where it's standing on. Here I had to screw and I made wire arms and all of this. It was an interesting story. Actually, um, I could hear years ago a candle mm -hmm. should not be in the arrangement because of when it comes to a fire in the Christmas season, then the florist could be blamed for the fire. Uh, okay, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, okay, we place the candles beside the arrangement on an arm. So I was experimenting on this candle on an arm. Then I said, okay, isn't it sometimes beautiful when a flower comes from an arm with the tube outside and goes inside the design? So there was another experiment uh, what I had once. Uh, there was a guy from Holland here he, and he worked with uh, silk flowers in a demonstration where I was also involved on the side. And then I said, this is good when we can handle flowers like that they start from everywhere and go in all directions. So that was the second step. Then it was coming actually that branches would be um, on an arm, on a wire arm, on an arm. And the branches were coming in a design. And then finally it was that the whole design, the focus of the design was away from the container. So you see here a very dynamic form and it's crazy. I think on the picture now it's a bit irritating mm -hmm. that we have these strong flowers here. We bring them back later. Mm -hmm. So you see now how uh, very unusual is this figure. And you can do this horizontally and you can do it upright. You can go down from the table uh, you can go that the displacement is in front of the standing position, behind the standing position. It's diagonally on top. So there are so many opportunities and people study asymmetry. So I remember uh, one of our students many years ago, um, Natalia, she said, Oh, Gregor, I know I do fairly good decorative work, but can you help me with the asymmetry? And it was really a very important experience because of her work then became much more diverse. You know that you could say, here is your decorative, symmetrical and such, your classic, your traditional, your powerful in color and everything. But you need also an education for the abstract, for the modern, for the contemporary, for the actual, you know. So let's do also asymmetry. And this is what we study very much in our school uh, work. There's a wonderful grass here. It could be also a muniment for all the blonde ladies in the world, couldn't it? So Nobody laugh. laughs here. I was laughing, but it was a little bit far away. But, uh, so we do have quite a lot of uh, people saying hi in the chat that Angelica would like to point out. Yes. So uh, we have uh, Dan Xavier saying hello from Denmark. We have uh, Elena Werner uh, giving love from Belgium. We have Anita saying hello from Alsmeer. <laughs> and Anita, yes. that is far away, huh? Is it 100 or 200 meters? <laughs> uh, we have, I'm not going to say the whole name because um, I will probably butcher it, but Cis, uh, It Hello from Hungary, Christina and friends, uh, miss you. We have Kui Pham Kim saying uh, hearts from Vietnam and Amanda Amanda says thank you for sharing from Taiwan love your great works we have Joyce Shabby Sheik saying joining this live stream again from Brabant and the previous arrangement is really stunning we have Hong Duk saying hi master I am a flower shop owner from Vietnam we have Giuseppe Crispino too saying ciao from Sicily. I love uh, the use of Mediterranean uh, essence and I love what I saw. Rosana Ramos says hello from Brazil. We have our Carol Schenk 
saying hello all i wrote a message before but need to keep it short love big hugs and kisses to you we have Isakun Salazar saying, uh, I cannot hear. Oh, there's maybe a problem with your, um, I think maybe sound. Then? No, that should be all right. Oh, okay. So I hope yeah. it turns maybe out she, good. Maybe she needs to press the volume. Uh, Copy. Could be, because we should be, uh, yeah. If anyone else doesn't hear us, please let us know. But it should be all right. Yes. And There's we have Floral Envy oh, saying, Els Haseberg gave me a tour of your school in 19... Uh, 95 to see uh, the final exam and I was amazed on what the students were able to create hello nice. from Thank Canada um, floral envy says uh, my name is crystal <laughs> by hi, the way crystal. hi crystal and uh, Johnny Chung's vlog is sending a emoji that I cannot really quite make, make out, out yeah. what it is but there are hearts involved and Taiwan says so arty uh, artsy design Thank you. So while Gregor is switching it up a li little bit, um, I would like to show some uh, pictures uh, that were made uh, during the class. Nee, so, um, photo you can see here, uh, Mag me dat this, is, dan mag dan foto. this is Naila, In she was uh, together with Valentin making a hanging object. Hanging object was one of the subjects during the, the class. Uh, this is uh, Keith uh, Stanley and Ivo Mariska uh, having a great time making a teamwork uh, assignment, uh, event design. We have uh, Camille here working on the bridal bouquet using the spiderweb technique. Then uh, we have Elena also working on the bridal bouquet. Results of these arrangements will be shared uh, on our Instagram in, in a while. Then this is uh, one of the displacements. This one uh, was made by uh, Camille after the displacement day. Very nice work. Then we have Gregor uh, showing off an, uh, an arrangement from the table setting day. Then uh, bridal, more bridal works, bridal bouquets from the bridal bouquet day. And this was from this year. Very lovely. So you can see all sorts of different techniques and arrangement styles. Harianto is there with an amazing uh, arrangement and then more bridal bouquets yeah so Gregor how's it going over there yes I am actually I was not sure that I should do a third arrangement but I think we have prepared it and so I thought well. okay let's go for it <laughs> and uh, but I'm happy when you show a bit to our friends uh, what uh, in the school happens and that uh, you show many smiling faces uh, of, of the ones who have been with us and uh, many people have already asked for the next class yes. and uh, but uh, I think this uh, is always a big decision I know for people there are uh, family um, decisions, there are also financial decisions. Can I really leave now? And uh, do we have enough help in the place, in the shop, if there is a shop? I think there are so many reasons. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I don't, I would never ignore that because of that is the essence. Does it fit in your life? And what we are, absolutely aware of is where's Mike? Mike? Yes, I am here. Hi. Yes, uh, that for many people uh, it is a short time to have this done in 20 days plus travels, preparation and all that plus the time for the, the, li the, the live stream mm -hmm. meetings in January, February and all that. It is really something but we know in that short time it cannot be without work. No, I know sure. it is also stress. It is work, it is long days, it is intense. But believe me, in uh, such an interesting team of people, which coming together there, that is really better and easier. Like if you uh, would hang out alone and think you can just pick it by looking pictures and books and all that. That is really sure. an intense you study. Right. I think it's a great learning experience that you share together with other people. And 
all the students are inspiring each other you can really see the progress that your fellow students are making and learn from everything that uh, like the mistakes that some people are making the other people are making so that's great oh uh, my angelica would like to ask some if we can maybe move the arrangement a little bit gregor so where that, you uh, want because it. because the camera is on, uh, on the oh other my side. gosh now let me hold it that is a lot of heavy wood yeah we go so, so this is a very tricky arrangement it is on a wooden foot and all this is the self-made uh, wire work and this is a a, a post of uh, uh, of wood a, a rough one from the from the ground uh, in the forest and then the rest is going on wire arms and double uh, bambusa gigantea leaves and hanging cactus this is the Ripsalis Paradoxa, you know, and then I know our friends from the former classes, they are looking now to each other, if they could, and say, oh, the botany again, huh? But it's not possible without, if you want to do special stuff, you should know what you like and appreciate. Sure. Yes, and the technique, we are, very interested in the teaching of techniques. So therefore, it does always mean hands-on, hands-on, hands-on. So even if it is painful sometimes that you think, oh, I can, cannot do it, I cannot do it, and then, but with help, you can do it. And I actually didn't see people amongst us who didn't finally make it with the techniques and all that. And you know what, this is an international school, you know, it is a school, no problem, no problem, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, Gregorio Controletti, he has everything in I, yeah. Okay, and, <laughs> and uh, having a heart attack. <laughs> we should really have in consideration that this is an international school of masters, people coming from all these cultures and countries. And if this would be a Dutch school, it would be a German school, it would be a European school, then you can say, okay, if you want to study and you want to study the European way, you do the European way. But in this case, we have also to... Uh, take in consideration that people come from America, from Australia. And I was very uh, happy that I could visit many of these countries and work with the people and that I understand the colors who are coming from America. And I understand the, the understanding of the English garden culture. And also some people from very arid and cooler countries. And I think we should not expect when we come here to this school that this is just all European or Dutch or German. We understand you when you come from the different cultural backgrounds. Yep. And that was a very important issue also in the evalu evalu evaluations of our last exam. So that is international. It is about your cultures and you should not have the feeling when you come back from here, yes, I did some education, but I don't know what I do with this at my home, you know, and uh, in my home country and my home culture. So that is a very important issue. Okay. I believe so, yeah. So you can, but that's also the nice thing, all these different cultures that are, that you can see them, you know, this, like you said, in one country, they might be more sensitive to have more con color sensitivities that they are all about the bright colors another color might um, another country might be more about the the lighter colors and um, and the application of that like the nordic countries so it's really interesting to see that mix and to learn from each other yeah to be inspired like that so i'll just show a little uh real uh in the meantime yeah
Uh, there's been so much technique used, like all the drilling, all the wiring that has been used. You know, it's just very, uh, very interesting to, to see that. So you can see here more wiring, all the drilling, very interesting techniques uh, that were used, and everyone inspired each other. So that was really, uh, really good. Uh, and then um, I'll show you another uh, uh, video um, that you can see here. <laughs> Whoop, now we're on the other side. So uh, here you can see the after discussions, which are also very important. So uh, every individual arrangement is discussed with the proper lighting uh, and uh, everyone gets a word. Uh, you get to explain your arrangement, what were your thoughts, then Gregor will dis discuss what uh, has been changed, what could be a little bit different, just to get the accent right, that sort of thing. So that's very important because, you know, in the end, uh, if the feedback is, the, is so, much Im so much important for your growth, you know, you can make a work, but if no one tells you anything about it, then uh, you don't know what you did wrong. So, yeah, so that's so important. Yep. And then uh, I should say, when we come from different uh, languages, that is not the biggest problem. Some of the people, they speak very uh, little English. They speak, now yeah, not very little, but they don't think they can make it with their vernacular to make it. So I personally can say that I can communicate in Spanish, in Dutch, German, English, uh, French, Italian, and some Japanese. So a good old student from me, no, he is not old, but our relationship is old. He studied with me for 28 years in, years in Taiwan, and I cannot speak uh, Mandarin. And we could speak Japanese with that what I know, so that he could at least know that this arrangement should be a little higher or a little more hanging down. So for me also, it is very important to speak languages. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, and preparation. I think uh, a very important issue is our preparation, that you have an orientation, you have that book or booklet. Do you have it there now? I no? think Angelica is, uh, is, is, is having, oh, have okay. it, has it right now. Uh, but also, just uh, to shortly say, uh, you said uh, languages are, are important, of course, uh, but the main language of the course is, of course, English. So all the explanation yeah. is done in English, but then the side talks and the this, one. Uh, this no. and that can be, that can be done uh, in the other. Our big master book. Oh. <laughs> Our big master so book. So little discussions here and there, we can talk, of course, in the other languages, but the main language would be English. Yeah, so it is actually sad. Our hour finally is over, but I am uh, not union organized. So if we take a little longer, <laughs> this is not a problem. Mike, no what, problem, no what problem. do you think what our friends in the world uh, want to know from us? That's a good question. If you are at home right now and you have any questions for Gregor, please feel free to ask them about the designs, about the International Master Florist Education, uh, about other things maybe that, uh, that Gregor would uh, know things about. Or, um, or you, where, where you yeah, also or me, know yes, a lot, you, you can, know. <laughs> you can ask me anything you want. And um, what would be the, the next place you're going maybe, Gregor? You can uh, Yes, say uh, about that. next week I will be in Italy for uh, a class of uh, very sustainable plant design and uh, also uh, yeah a very botanical class but not studying botany so much but uh, studying the different ways of uh, <coughs> flower designs with plants uh, sometimes also in combination even with cut flowers and with very organic mediums yes that is where I go next and then we go Again, uh, my wife and me, we will work in China, in uh, Chengdu and in Beijing. And yeah, and then we see after all these years, hopefully some, uh, many of the old Chinese friends 
where we were working with till the pandemia and where we are now uh, separated from for such a long time. And then the whole year is going ahead. I will be in uh, Tajikistan and uh, again in it Italy. I'm always in Italy. <laughs> Amici That's Italiano nice. in France. Yes, we are in Spain. So <clears throat> the world is floristry wise growing together. And when you believe in uh, education amongst people from other places in the world, it's a bit warm here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is pretty. That is the summer, yes. But for the summer class, it was good, huh? Yeah, it was really nice being yeah. outside in the water. Yeah. And uh, so the motivation goes in such groups is enormous. And um, that was for me an experience very special. I was always going three days, five days, four days, my whole uh, work uh, in the world. Not very long, but this one now is when people come again and they trust you when they come the second time and they have thousand questions. And that is a new excitement. What I actually had in my later years in the profession before it was always short term monographies, you know, Okay, so my wooden stand with the bamboo leaves, very parallel. And then all the discussions with the students, uh, and the, not students, with the coming masters. Uh, they, they, they have questions. Now, is this garden style? Is this, why is it garden? Yeah, it is. Why this and this and this? It is garden style, not this. Garden style is because of it is very vegetative and very much from garden and nature. It is very rustic and fits in very rustic countryish rural areas. It is vintage because of it is reflecting old trends. It is boho because of it is reflecting tribal, uh, beautiful, uh, accustomed uh, habits like for weddings and for birthdays and for this and that. So, you know, all of that, that's what we discussed here in the last days. But if you have this for two weeks in a row, then you take a lot home. And if your brain doesn't hold it, where's the book? So, so we are very Dutch, Gregor. We only printed enough books to hand out to the students. We don't have okay, any spares, so oh, we a save a lot of paper. That yeah, way. okay. So I should say thank you for my part, but Mike, you have more? So, no, actually, yeah, I, I believe, um, I, I just like to say, yeah, I agree with what you said. Um, we very much categorize all the different themes and styles and techniques in a way that it's very easy, like you said, um, to recall these techniques from your brain whenever you want to create something new. So you combine like a robot, you make a formula of uh, the design scheme combine it into a subject. Ah, the wellsprings of yes, inspiration. I, liked, I like that a lot. So there's a lot of ways to create there is designs one day and approach it. Yeah. Creation of an idea. People, when they ask you, oh, Mr. Lersch, I saw that what you did there and there. I wondered, how did you get this idea? And or yeah. sometimes you have uh, journalists, uh, editors, writers, they ask you, um, <clears throat> where is actually the, the wellspring for your ideas? And I say this is a very interesting question when you have time to listen. Yeah. Because of I wrote a book about it from about 350 pages so that an idea can come from the hardware, which is craftsmanship and technique. The second is the methodology. How does it look like? All the, 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 the visual uh, uh, studies about it and doing and then the third is what do I have and this is not only botany it is botany it is the habitat it is the habitus of the flowers this is um, uh, uh, <clears throat> the botanical systematic who is related to whom so uh, and and where is it growing together and then all these botanical things botanical history and so this is the third hardware for our studies. And then the, the software, this is actually cultural reasons to do this design. Why do I do this wooden 
little bit of washed wood um, design uh, in contrast to very vital and uh, charismatic plant elements what I have here. So that is, I ask for the reason, culturally why I do it. And then the most important question when I go for the soul, when I say, what is the emotional reason for doing this or this or this? And then I think that is uh, the emotional and the, 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 the process to uh, give an arrangement a very strong emotional impact or an, Im an impact in a direction. It can be happiness, motivation, uh, <clears throat> out, over, over the top, um, um, animating. It can be to create happiness, to help in grief. So all these things. So when, when you do work, do you think about that? I would say there comes a point that somebody is asking you when you are building this, Gregor, where do you want it to place? Then I would say, yes, here I see a modern rustic uh, house with maybe concrete walls, but also a combination of natural uh, elements in the, in the house, and it would be a very modern, modern rustic house. Yeah. Oh, what kind of lamps would you have? Oh, I would have some woven wool um, tapestries on the wall, fairly rustic, mixed with uh, natural colors and burgundy wool. And so I would also say the people, when they, we have them sitting here for these classes, we really have to upload them mm -hmm. with yeah, these sure. two factors. Why do we do it culturally, surrounding, reason, people? So a lot, actually, yeah. the cultural reasons are, or why are we doing this emotionally, or what can we do when it comes to these emotions? I agree. So, okay, when so you say is, uh, love, red rose, okay, we do a red rose, a red rose. 100%. So that so we go very, very even more deep into that during the during the class. So if you are interested in learning why are you even creating an arrangement and then the techniques and such to to be able to create those, then uh, then I would say come join the International Master Florist Education. Yeah, the question is often why should I do a master course? Do I make more money when I'm in a firm? I work there with 10 people. I am there. Uh, one of the first florists there. I uh, am five years there. I make this and this and this money. When I go to the master school, do I directly make more money? Can you guarantee that? And that is actually not the fact. But if you have all these new qualities, what you number one shared with your classmates in the School of Masters and your more wider horizon, also the ability to create uh, a subject for uh, uh, for uh, for a work, for an event, for a wedding, for a hall decoration, for a Christmas season, for a spring campaign, and all that. If this is all afterwards more available for you, you make your career. It can be as a self-standing designer who is freelancing, who has a shop, who has partners in the shop, who works for somebody who works for a firm, who, uh, where flowers are just a part of. So I would say if you are in all these green professions, even if you are a writer uh, for the green world, it could be worthwhile to make this kind of education. For sure. Just talk to Mike and his mother and his uh, people in the family. So they do a great job on giving the people the feeling coming here is for a possible professional home for your future. Yes, you will expand your tool set very much when you uh, educate yourself and uh, learn new things. So uh, with that said, if you do have any more questions, please feel free to email us to info at burma.nl or to send an Instagram message or to, you know, you can always comment on this video after we have been live, that's also possible. And with that said, I would like to thank you very much, Gregor, for this amazing uh, demonstration and for yes. this talk about yeah. uh, the, the course but and other things. The most important person for me here was not visible in the camera. It is my wife, Gabby. And since the pandemia, we work more and more together. 
So sometimes, okay, yesterday, still in the class, we made this big project yesterday with the floating arrangements on the Dutch water around here. And, and now we have another program done for this. And so I could never all do all this, but she's too shy to go to the camera. So yes, but thank you Gabby. very much, Gabby. Really yes. appreciate but that. All you the know, hard the work. second, the table decoration with the blonde hair, uh, it was actually dedicated to. <laughs> ah, that's it. <laughs> very nice. Good. Hey, thank, thank you, you ladies. Yes. Sinsin, thank you, Angelica. Thank you, Mike. And uh, believe me, the youth here is very important. So we old guys here, we could never do it so well without these wonderful young people here. Thank you very yes. much. I would also like to thank everyone who is watching right now in the chat. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more things and see you next time. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.